Hello, we recently visited the mid-career survey of Recruit Tibravonet at PS1 in New York. The show is called A Lot of People. Um, and that, you know, is, seems like such an appropriate, such an appropriate title for the show as a mid-career survey. And that I think, you know, most of us think of his work, um, as being, you know, the, 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 the food, um, performance, um, uh, at an opening during the show or, you know, at, at an event where, um, there is, there's usually, you know, a curry, a curry dish, some noodles and some vegetables and, um, and he, he did this first in 1990, it was untitled, at Paul Allen Gallery, and he's been doing it, um, doing it, doing it ever since, um, including for this, for this show. The, the most successful, um, that I've, that I've attended was during Art Basel, and it was a, it was a daily, around lunchtime, daily performance, if you will, and it really was about, you know, community and bringing people together, and, um, and as it was set up, the artist and um, his assistants, which you know are many times his students, are preparing the food. Uh, the artist uh, many times will be um, serving the food, and so there's that's the station, and and then there's another station for the visitors to collect their their bowls and their silverware. And in, in the case of this, I think it was just, I think it was just a spoon, and it was you know colorful plastic uh, bowls and spoons. So you wait in line for that. You wait, then, you know, go to the next, you know, you wait in line to get the food. You can, you know, pick, you know, if you want chicken in it or if you want no meat. Um, or, or I think that maybe they just put the chicken in it. Maybe they make it up and then they put the chicken in it if you want the chicken. Um, and, and I believe that was how it was intended, but some people don't want the chicken, of course. So, um, so then there's another station where the visitors, you know, can eat it and talk and, you know, and in, in, the, in the case of this scenario because, you know, it, it was, you know, people are there, many of them working. Um, it, it, it's just a really nice thing that there is this going on and it's free and it's totally free. So, you know, visitors are, you know, treated and I remember it being very delicious. I did have it one day without the chicken and the chicken made it more salty and I think more delicious. But, um, so there's, there's that, that's, there's that sense of community and everybody kind of working together and doing their thing and supporting the infrastructure in that, you know, washing the bowls, put, and oh, and then the, the last station, of course, is washing the bowls, and, you know, drying them, and putting them back in a stack. So, um, yeah, I think that's what most, most people have, you know, been exposed to in terms of Recruit's work, or, or even, you know, just like, and then there is, there's an example of, actually a couple of examples, you know, text-based, text-based based works, um, and, uh, and, 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 you know, and the theme of, you know, community, and, um, society, uh, you know, runs throughout his work. And so this exhibition is set up so that there are, uh, a series of, as they call them, plays. One of them, you know, is the curry dish. Um, there is, and then there, there are different dates, uh, for, uh, for each. So they had a schedule, um, and then a space specifically, uh, where the play would occur with, you know, in, in this case, there were other people, there were surrogates that were performing the plays. You know, there, there was one of, um, the curry, one of, uh, making t-shirts, and then they were given to visitors so you can watch, watch it as a performative act, and then you get to go home with a silkscreen t-shirt with, you know, one, one of, um, you know, two, uh, text-based designs. And the beautiful thing about it, because I saw, I didn't actually get one, but I saw, um, some of the end results. So I, one of the nice things about it is that there are flaws. Um, so, so they're, you know, generally all unique, you know, so I love that. Sad that I did not get one. Um, and, uh, there's, there's also, which is ongoing, um, a ping pong table, um, which is in, you know, visible from the balcony first floor to the lower level. Um, so it, it's also, you know, spectator. Um, and, and then, there are remnants of some of the previous performances, including that first one in 1990, Untitled, with Pad Thai. There's a vitrine with uh, some of the elements from um, from that performance. So I, I love that. I, of course, love, you know, just the idea of community and sharing and um, society and people working together. And, um, and uh, the other thing that I loved um, was, you know, a recreation of 
you know, to scale, Gavin Brown's gallery on Broom Street, where um, uh, Recrit had a two-person show with his work, his new work, kind of juxtaposed with uh, some of Andy Warhol's classic, classic works. So the works are restaged uh, for for this in ceramic with a palladium luster finish. So they, they look like metal at, you know, first glance, or if you look through the window. Um, you know, they look, they look like, they don't look like ceramic, they look like, you know, they're, they're metal. Um, so I loved, I love that. And then, in, and there's, you know, it's a small space, there's only three allowed in that space at a time, which is really nice because you can really get a sense of scale and just how small the space was. Um, well, these are my highlights and, um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you were able to see the show. It was, um, I believe the, the largest, uh, survey to date of his work. So thank you so much. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time. Bye.